now we are going to introduce how to use our Zig um, Easy Home APP to control Zigbee 3.0 devices. First, uh, connect the Wi Fi to the Zigbee Gateway Network. And then open Easy Home APP, enter room, and uh, tap add device. First, uh, we will add uh, the Zigbee light. Uh, by factory default, the Zigbee lights uh, will be under slow fading and fade out state. This means they, they are not added to any network. Uh, when the net, uh, this device are added to the network, they will be listed and you can use a uh, left slide the device and the touch check to check the device and then tap and the tick to confirm the adding then return the home interface a room interface and you can find the two zip lights in the device now you can use app to control them and uh, adjust the brightness okay Okay, now we are going to introduce how to add this remote to the Zigbee network. Press and hold down this one and off button until the LED indicator turns on. Then press this off button and the tab add device button on the app. And now the remote is added and the tab and tick to confirm adding. Return to room interface. And uh, now we can uh, find the remotes with the ZB lights. We bind it to group one. Now the remote is binds. Uh, before binding, we have to activate the remote. Now the remote is bind with the ZB lights successfully, and we can control it with the remote. Also, we can bind another ZB light to the same remote and same group. And we can find the two other groups of the remote. And uh, we can also combine uh, the remotes from the CP lights. Uh, we have another type of CP remotes. How to find it? Press and hold down this up or um, and hold button until the indicator turns on. And then press this one and then tap add device on the APP. The LED indicator on the remote will flash and then tap. Also, we can bind this remote to the ZB light. And once binding is successful, we can control the ZB lights with the remote. Uh, if we if we like to remove the device from the 
that work. You can lift, slide any device and the tab reset to remove it from the network. And uh, for the ZV remote, once we reset it, uh, the LED indicator flashes to indicate successful remove. And uh, for the ZV light, once it is removed successfully, uh, it will flash three times and then uh, go to fade in and fade out state. To indicate successful remove and uh, ready to be stretched. Okay, let's go for the CP3.0 operation instructions. <laughs>